Hey guys, Christian here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a Shopify Buy Now button that you can use on external blogs, emails, and more. Buy buttons help you add your products to your external website and blog post. They also make purchasing the products easier for customers by removing the need to go to a separate page to finalize their order. So a buy now button, um, it's like a shortcut for buying one of your products. Uh, you can place buy buttons on your non-Shopify websites or blogs, and buy buttons can show pictures, descriptions, prices, all while letting customer purchase products without leaving the website. Any update to a product's details in your Shopify admin will appear on the product's buy button. So first thing we need to do is add the Shopify buy now button sales channel to your store. Let's get into that. So what you wanna do is once you're logged into your Shopify, you're gonna go to sales channel, click on the plus button, and we'll see the buy button in here. Click on the plus sign, and there we have it. We've created, successfully created, the sales channel. You see right here underneath the inbox, we have the buy button sales channel has been applied. But before we get to step number two, I just wanna say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pinon, one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. The one way you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. All right, so step number two is to create the buy now buttons. So all we have to do is sales channel, go to your buy button, sales channel and create a buy button. Now you have two options here. You can create a button for a specific product or you can create one for a collection. So you can actually take them to a collection. We're gonna do one for a product and it's gonna pop up all of your products in your store. We're gonna click on color for bones, select that one. Now it's very important to customize the way you want this right here, right now. Otherwise the code that this will spit out um, once you change it, it won't necessarily change on the other place that you put that code. So it's important to make all the final changes in here um, and customize it now because you can't necessarily edit it afterwards. So some of the things that you can change in here is a layout style. So you can do classic, basic, or full view. We're gonna do, actually, let's do basic. No, I don't like basic. <laughs> let's do classic. Yeah, that's just an image in there. Okay, and then another thing that you can change in here is the action when people click on the button, right? So in this particular case, we have it as add product to cart. We can actually do it direct to checkout or open product details. So we're gonna leave it as add product to cart and then button style. We can actually change a little bit of the colors, um, the text, the width. We can make it a little bit bigger corners, we can make the corners rounder. We can change the font, the size of the text, etc., to match maybe a little bit more of where you're gonna place this. Then the layout, you can choose if you want the image to be big, medium, large, etc. So there's a few options in here that you can do. Again, you can change the topography for the uh, title of the product, the pricing, and then the variant. And then the shopping cart. We click on the shopping cart, it will show you how the shopping cart will show once they've added the product to the cart and then they go to the next step. So you can actually, again, edit this and you wanna edit it now before you actually export it. And then the last thing here is advanced settings. So under advanced settings, you can actually um, do the checkout behavior. So whether you want it to open up in a new window or redirect right there within the same tab. That's your personal preference or if you are, let's say, you know, posting this on a different website that's not yours, maybe you wanna ask that other person what's their preference when it comes to that. So after that, we're gonna click next. So once you click next, it's gonna give you the code. And all you have to do here is not mess with it, just click copy code. After that, it's just a matter of putting it on a website or a blog. Just wanted to mention real quick that if you're enjoying this video, make sure to check out our latest <laughs> Shopify tutorial on the top five Shopify themes for clothing brands. After you copy that code, the next step is to actually put it on whatever website or blog that you're gonna put it in, um, or it could be an email, for example. Now, the important thing here is, depending on where you're doing it, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, Webflow, I'm gonna show you actually how to put it in Webflow. Um, it's just a matter of finding the custom uh, embed or anywhere where it gives you a code editor uh, type uh, format block. So we're gonna do the embed. 
I'm gonna drop it right here. And then you just paste the code in here. Click save and close. And then let me just see how, actually, let me get rid of the image that was in there before. So get rid of that image. This might look kind of wonky, but at least it will give you an idea of, of what we're working with here. And there you have it. So yeah, it kind of looks a little bit wonky, but you get the idea. So now we have the product image in here. We have the colors selection, size selection, etc. This particular product, when I copied it, was out of stock. So that's why it shows out of stock. Um, but it would show that, you know, the cart will show up right here. So right within this website, you can actually finish a transaction instead of going anywhere else. Kind of cool. All right, so what are some use cases for the buy now button? Um, let's say you can create them for an email campaign. If you're highlighting, let's say a new product, you can create a buy now button for a specific product and creating an email campaign behind that to highlight that particular product. Another way to use them is to place them on social media posts. Maybe you've released a new collection or product. And then another way, it's just like, kind of like how I did right here. Let's say your friend Bobby has a blog on WordPress and he wants to help you out by writing a blog post about that particular product. You can create a unique buy now button for him to place in that blog post and generate sales for you. The cool thing about the buy now buttons is that you can actually track this um, on the analytics, Shopify analytics. So you'll know exactly where that money's coming from, what particular button is coming from. Now, if you enjoy this video and this buy now concept, you might want to check out the how to build a seven figure clothing brand where we actually go a little bit more in depth on some of the things that you need to be putting in place in order to have a better, bigger, more impactful brand. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, it would, uh, I would be very, very grateful if you hit that like button. It would, it would make my day for sure. I maybe, I don't know, buy some ice cream for a kid down the street that I don't even know just because I'm so grateful for you. Thanks. All right, we'll see you in the next one.